Good evening, I'm Brenda Wood. And I'm Joe Birch. Join us next for a full half hour of Action News 5. I'm Steve Schuler in Bolivar, where 300 people face the possibility of losing their jobs. I'll have the story. And you'll hear from international harvester workers who learn there's money for their retraining. I'm Dave Brown. There's some showers in the Mid-South. I'll show them to you on Storm Surge 5. And Jack will update you on NCAA championship play and plans for the DTMC. We'll have all those stories and a lot more coming up next on Action News 5. From the news center of the Mid-South, this is Action News 5. With Brenda Wood, Joe Birch, Dave Brown, Jack Eaton, and the first team in Memphis Television News. Good evening, everyone. Action News 5 has learned the state of Tennessee released money today for retraining Memphis International Harvester workers. Harvester has pledged to match the government grant, creating a $1 million retraining fund. And as I found out tonight, the program is aimed at giving IH workers new skills before the plant closes next month. A good change. 20-year harvester veteran Eugene Bennett told me tonight the job retraining money is coming just in time. I'm sure that a lot of these younger men that's working here, say 35. UAW leader Buford Gabbard says tonight the money will do some good, but it's not enough. 611 people still work at Harvester. 700 have already been laid off. The plant will close May 31st. Owners of a leather company in Bolivar are hoping their plant won't have to close. Our Mira officials are asking employees to help them stay open. They've asked workers to take a wage cut to save their jobs. Steve Schuler has been uh, spent the day in Bolivar and has this report. When Highway 18 in Bolivar gets crowded late in the afternoon, folks here know a shift change at the Armira company. Shift change was different today for Charles Boyd. As he arrived home, his mind was still on his job. The company has been here in Bolivar since the early 60s. It's one of the largest industries in Hardeman County. Well, there's much more ahead tonight on Action News 5. Coming up next, you'll find out why a Memphis dentist has been awarded a half million dollars.